Hey guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. So back when I was becoming a flight attendant, maybe the first year or so, I was powerless against certain videos on YouTube. That sounds darker than it is. Uh, if there was a video that said, what's in my lunchbox? What's in my work tote? Uh, how do I pack my flight attendant luggage? I was powerless, I had to watch it. Uh, and I still watch those videos, mostly for ideas on how to pack my own lunch bag. But um, I have not done my own What's in My Lunch Bag video for a while. So I thought I'd give you a tour of what's in my bag this trip. It's a four day trip. I packed a fair amount of food in my uh, Majecto cooler. Um, the alternate bag I use is my eBags Crew Cooler 2 when I'm not taking as many large containers as I am on this trip. Uh, so this is a little tour of what's in my lunch bag this trip. And uh, let's dive into the bag. All right, this is my lunch bag. It looks like it's collapsing under its own weight, which it kind of is right now. But um, So this is the uh, Majecto Large uh, cooler bag. That's the Majecto logo right there. I'll put a link in the description box below uh, for an Amazon link. I also carry my eBags Crew Cooler 2, which is the same style bag, just a little bit smaller in all its proportions. Uh, very useful bag, very popular bag. Um, if I'm not carrying as many large containers as I am this trip, I would sometimes carry that smaller one because it's just easier to carry. This thing, when it's packed like it is right now, must weigh 25 pounds. No joke, 20, 25 pounds. All right, so in the top compartment, which is just huge, um, I put my Hot Logic Mini, which is right here. And I have some food in here heating up right now. But the Hot Logic itself, when it's not packed with food, is very soft and it folds up to a really compact um, area. So I'll put it inside the top here and then I'll pack stuff in and around it to really make the most of the space. So inside I'll put a bag of dry roasted peanuts. These are my planters. I much prefer my store's no-name brand over the planters. I don't know why the there's a coating on these dry roasted ones I just don't like. Um, a bag of Triscuits. Because if I'm on the plane and I want to eat something that's very satisfying, I'll eat cheese with some of these uh, Triscuits. And it's, uh, it feels like a meal, fills me up, but it doesn't. I don't have to unpack a whole picnic on the galley. So I these, crack these Triscuits are really handy. Some lunch meat, some cheese, and it's, it feels like a meal. Uh, and I have two packages of these Barilla Ready Pastas. In penne, um, it's supposed to be microwaved for 60 seconds. I do not have a microwave in this trip, so I'm hoping I can put the pasta in my Hot Logic Mini using a bowl that's in here. I'll show you that, um, or in one of the glass containers I have my food in. So I'm hoping I can put um, this pasta in my Hot Logic Mini, and I hope it works as well as it does in the microwave. Um, I have had varying degrees of luck with these because it's sometimes is just too al dente and the pasta is very small so it feels very strange to eat. Uh, but I'm going to heat that up and use um, this uh, pesto sauce on the pasta. And I think that's just a tasty, easy meal to eat on the go. So that is what's in the top compartment. There's a huge zipper, you really can't see it in this angle, but there's a gigantic zippered pocket um, the only thing I don't like about this pocket is that when you put stuff in here, it all goes to the bottom and, and then it kind of collapse. It's, uh, you have to force it onto the top of whatever you have in your bag. So I have to shift, shift things around quite a bit to make sure it doesn't feel like a big lump of stuff. But in there, I usually have, um, these Mio, uh, energy, uh, drink packets. There's caffeine, some citrus flavors. They're okay. And I got some of these instant uh, Starbucks iced coffee, sweetened. I put that in my teamy tumbler. And I have, that's more of those Mio things. And I've got this tea that I have not tried yet, but it really sounded great. It's ginger Fire Chai by Stash. I think that just sounded delicious. And then I fistfuls of salt, pepper, and sugar. Um, someone I work with is always saying, do you have any salt, do you have any pepper? And I always 
have some, um, and I usually have some hot sauce packets in there, but I've used them all. So that is what's in the top compartment. Let me zip that up. Let me pause that so we can do that. One sec. Bink. All right. So on the side pocket over here, I, I haven't taken these out of my bag, uh, but I, have, I has, have historically had horrifying heartburn just all the time. Uh, and these are the, just some fake Tums. Uh, but since I've pretty much given up coffee in favor of tea, I really haven't had a problem with heartburn, so I should probably take those out. This is some purity moisturizer that a subscriber gave me that I keep in my bag so I can put it on when I'm on the airplane if I'm feeling dry. It's a magnet from Phoenix. <laughs> and some little candies. Oh, and a hot sauce packet. Very exciting. I'll make use of that. Um, a couple hot sauce packets. Very exciting because I always need those. And on the other side, there's a pocket just like it. I carry a large, uh, this is 16 ounces of honey because I use honey in for my tea and also my smoothies. So I carry this and it fits really nicely in the side pockets. Also on the side there, I have my Puri cleanser, which a subscriber sent me. Uh, thank you very much, because I love this cleanser. Uh, and I keep it in my lunch bag pocket because um, because the airplane pressure can sometimes pop things like this open. I want to make sure it's always sitting upright and uh, it does not, uh, won't do that in my cosmetic bag or my luggage. So I put it in my, my lunch bag so it's always standing up. So if that does pop open, I don't get it spilling everywhere, so. That's why that's in my lunch bag. All right, this, unedited, uh, I, this is unpracticed. I, I don't even know what's in here in this pocket. Um, I kind of do, but it's a kind of a mess, a kind of a nightmare. Okay, so uh, a big giant long um, stainless steel straw with a silicone tip so I don't um, <laughs> hurt my teeth or poke myself in the mouth. I think it's, I've done that at night and this is one that's just bent a little bit um i love these they're um these have to be 12 inches tall so they're gonna fit in any bottle in any cup um i had a couple of stainless steel straws that were short and they would just disappear inside my cup trash this is um some travel cutlery i have yet to use i'm going to use this today though it's by sistema i'm going to use that i saw a co-worker using it and they loved it um, so I'm going to be using this for the first time today. One of my subscribers sent me some stainless steel travel flatware, which I had, I took the knife out because it was very, very sharp and I didn't want uh, uh, TSA to take it. And the fork and the spoon, honestly, I don't even know where they are. They're in my kitchen somewhere. But I like this plastic um, cutlery. I saw one of my coworkers using it with success. This is just some plastic plastic flatware that I got from the fast food joint. Remnant of a chocolate bar that has probably been in here for three months. Some little candies. Oh my gosh. I wish I had seen a coworker. Her flashlight died, so I really wish I had known I had this in my bag. I could have given that to her. But you always want a spare flashlight, especially if your flashlights are small like this and the batteries die suddenly. You always want a spare flashlight. In fact, I think it's a required item. Um, Cleaner for the, the stainless steel straws, some tea, some uh, Sweet Dreams tea. Uh, this is a an LED light for inside the ice pack in, in my fruit, my uh, uh, cart topper. For, this is um, uh, some hand sanitizer. How cute is that? I used to have this hanging off my apron, but it looked very ungainly and not terribly professional. Um, what's in here? What else is in here? Oh, chopsticks. And that is, and some more tea and some stickers I forgot I had. Post-it notes, earplugs, cold medicine, eyeglass cleaner, all sorts of random stuff. So that pocket is a little less embarrassing than I thought it was going to be. This tag, by the way, is... Um, I love this tag. I have two of these. Um, go to Facebook and do a search for the bag tag lady. Uh, it's fabric, 
and this is three years old and it's still really holding up nicely but she has amazing bag tags uh, in all manner of shapes and sizes and for every airline uh, so inside my bag and I've given you a very long tour in fact I might link uh, another video which I compare this bag to the crew cooler to. Inside I've got um, this unzips pretty easily uh, so you can clean it and replace it. This bag comes with a replacement liner which is really nice. And inside I have this silicone bowl which pops open uh, and this is technically a dog bowl, a travel dog bowl. So if you were traveling with your pet, you could pour some water into it. And um, so I use this uh, for when I'm traveling, for a flight, being a flight attendant, rather than always eating out of, say, something like this. So if I have soup or chili or something like that, I can pop that in there. I was thinking I could put my penne in here with the, pas the pesto, uh, but what I might do is something a little different. And then I've got some ice packs. Of course, uh, this is still frozen ice. I threw some in here from the um, airplane and that has been in my bag since, I don't know what, uh, it is now uh, 541 in Cleveland. It was, has been in my bag since about eight o'clock West Coast time last night. So the bag is really, really well insulated. So that is what's inside most of the bag. Then if I go into my fridge, hi, which happens conveniently enough to be right here. I have, this was all inside the main compartment, a giant container of blueberries and some raspberries and some stray blueberries, which I make into a um, smoothie with some of my protein powder in my teeny blender. I have the base charging right now. I had a smoothie for uh, yesterday, I should say last night on the plane, and I had one for breakfast this morning, so the, the jar is still dirty right now, but I'll make another smoothie um, after I go to the gym because I'll have my protein powder here. So. The berries and stuff were in there. This was inside my luggage because it's dry and it's uh, in a lock and lock container. So there's no chance of any of that powder coming out. Um, you already saw the pesto. Oh, and my teeny greens, which um, you've, you've seen this make an appearance, I think, in a video before. Um, I will um, be making a smoothie out of this probably tomorrow morning for breakfast with my berries and probably an apple from the hotel grab and go. And then inside the bottom, I had three of these. And this is, uh, these are glass so that they stay cold uh, and they don't, um, and the cold is, you know, and the heat would, would transfer better for I think the food and keeping it cold and, and then heating it up. Uh, and inside these, won't be a surprise to some of you, these have a little vent to make that easier to open. <laughs> uh, and inside I've got, um, I don't know what that looks like on camera, pork, um, pork tenderloin, which you know I eat all the time because it's easy, it's delicious, and um, affordable. So there, and there's little baby potatoes. I have garlic, rosemary, um, balsamic vinegar, and what else? Salt, pepper, I think that's it, um, in the um, pork one. So I have three containers of those. Um, in these glass containers, especially uh, with these sort of locking sides, the food doesn't slosh around and potentially fall out of the containers, as happened to me recently. Um, and these little vents make it easy for the um, the top to be used in a microwave or whatever so but they're really heavy <laughs> so what I will probably do is eat one of these for dinner tonight and then for tomorrow I'll wash this out and uh, use it to um, heat up my penne pasta with my um, pesto so that's what I'll do instead of eating out of this bowl 
Ta-da! That's what's in my lunchbox for this trip. Uh, I am a little done with pork loin. <laughs> I have two of them left, I think, in the freezer. I shouldn't complain because ramen noodles were a big part of my diet not too long ago, so I shouldn't complain about eating pork loin. Uh, but I'm getting a little tired of it. So um, I think my next meal prep, I'm going to do something with pasta because I have not eaten... I'm not sure the last time I had pasta. Uh, so I'm going to do something with sausage and pasta, and we'll see what happens. But if you have any suggestions for meal prepping uh, for your own trips, three or four days, uh, nothing too crazy. I don't want to be like the next contestant on Chopped, you know, just want to make something easy and simple and economical. So if you have any suggestions, drop a comment below. Um, otherwise, if you have not subscribed before, feel free to subscribe. Um, this channel has been growing slowly over the past two years uh, to uh, slowly, but dramatically. We have 4,700 subscribers now, which blows my socks off. I'm always amazed at the fact that I have some subscribers, uh, but um, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to finish watching Flashdance. <laughs> <laughs> and then eat my dinner and maybe play some uh, video game. I've reinstalled Fallout 4 on my laptop, so we'll see. You have a great night, and I will talk to you later. Fly safe.